Here's exactly what I do to take the next eight weeks of summer to become the best version of myself step by step. The first step to set yourself up for success this summer is to define one area of focus. And I am literally so serious when I say one. I know it's so hard sometimes when we want to level up and just become our best selves. There are so many ways that we can improve. Like we can improve our health, our work, our schoolwork, like becoming more productive in studying. Or it can be like our social life. And there's just a lot to tackle here. When we try to tackle everything and have a general goal, become my best self, we end up achieving nothing. So I know it's really hard to just choose one thing, but please literally pause this video right now and write down your one priority for this summer. If you could only improve one focused area of your life, what would that be? And then once you've mastered that one area, you can kind of put it on the back burner because it's like passively working for you. And then you can start working on something else. So for me this summer, my main goal is my wealth, but I also really care about my health. Like I want to get super fit. So I'm choosing to focus on that later on once the wealth part is more sorted out. <laughs> so now that you know what your top focus is this summer, step number two is to create an identity board. So an identity board, is kind of like a vision board, but it's very focused. You're going to be listing identity statements about your best self excelling in the area of focus that you defined in step number one. So let's say your area of focus this summer is to completely grind on your score, to do a lot of summer studying, and to get a good study routine going. Your identity statements can sound like Annie has mastered her mind to do focus, deep work, and to study for X amount of hours. You just want to fill this page with affirmations. I recommend doing this literally just on Google Docs, make it super simple, and then add images from Pinterest or any other platforms that really inspire you and go along with this vision and also list out specific goals that you have three top goals and deadlines for when you need to achieve them this summer print this sheet and tape it on your wall do not keep this digital guys I've made so many mistakes in the past of making vision boards and stuff digital setting it as my wallpaper it is just not as powerful as printing something out that's like tactile that you can literally see every morning like let me show you my wall I have like three vision boards there <laughs> I see every morning because they're physical I actually remember about them so steps one and two really helped us get clear on our vision and also just be in the right frame of mindset to embark on this summer self-development journey. And step three is really about implementing action. Step three is to create a monk mode protocol for this summer. So I got the concept of monk mode from Iman Gaji. A monk mode is pretty much a focused period of time where you're really focusing on your self-growth and eliminating distractions. What a monk protocol could look like is let's say you're like, I'm going to meditate every single day. I'm going to get 10k steps. I'm going to not stop boys on Snapchat at all this summer every day. You want to keep your monk mode protocol pretty simple. In the past, I've tried all these productivity systems, been like, I'm gonna wake up at this time, do this, and like set up like a literal timetable, okay? Do not do this. <laughs> set like three maximum like protocols that you wanna do within this monk mode for eight weeks. Like the times where I've actually just wrote down habits that I wanna implement to become my best self, it's actually never worked. What actually works is literally brainwashing yourself with the identity statements that you made with your identity board, and then just asking yourself, what would my best self that I created in my identity board do in this present moment. And let me just tell you, asking yourself that question as you go about the summer is going to be so much more powerful than setting up this whole productivity system and creating a notion page on like your summer plan. <laughs> Identity statements are so much more powerful than productivity systems. On the topic of monk modes, to really get in this summer growth mindset, make sure you eliminate distractions, which is step four. So I want you guys to literally pause this video right now, like write down on a piece of paper. If by the end of the summer, I did not excel in my one area of focus, what was it that distracted me? from my progression. It's really important that you actually just list out every single possible distraction that could set you off in your goals. Being able to predict these will allow you to like hedge against these distractions and be ultra aware when they come up. I know that some of you guys might think that social life during the summer can be a distraction and they might feel really limited. Like, oh, how can I still have a social life and also achieve my goals? And I really wanna talk about this. Like, how do you have a social life in the summer while also progressing? Because sometimes it seems like they can't coexist. This is a huge limiting belief I used to have, so let's debunk it. If you hang out with your friends before before you've gotten your personal work done, you will just grow to resent them. A lot of the times, I don't actually think it's having a vibrant social life that is a problem that's distracting you from growing, but it's really just that you might not be structuring your social time correctly. So what I like to do in the summer is to have an actual deep work routine in the morning. So wake up early in the morning and make sure that I'm progressing on my goals then. And then later in the day, when most of my friends wake up, because most of my friends do wake up later than me, I would say, I can actually hang out with them and not feel like I'm not progressing towards my goals because I already did that in the early morning. So if you want to still have a vibrant social life, literally just wake up earlier. And then once you hang out with your friends, you can literally just like do whatever you want with them and not feel like it's getting in the way of you progressing towards your goals. But also know that friends can be distractions if they're not bringing the best version of yourself out of you. And that can be really difficult, honestly. Like your best self has friends, right? But if you're in a current situation where your friends 
are getting in the way of you becoming your best self, you might just have to be lonely for a period of time. <laughs> I think social life is really important, but if you feel like your friends are literally dragging you down your self-development journey, fix it, please, <laughs> as soon as possible. Step number five is to find an accountability partner this summer. I don't think that you can really become your best self on your own. I think each of us really want like-minded friends, so I really just don't think being alone is the way to go. And you can actually fast track your self-improvement journey by including an accountability partner within the process. So every single day, I actually have like a meeting with my friend at 5 a.m. We do deep work on Zoom together. And it really keeps me accountable because it's like I can't snooze my alarm because someone else is depending on me. We actually have a deal where if I miss our call, I have to pay my friend $50. <laughs> so the accountability is really good. And I also have a friend that I study with on Zoom. So throughout the summer, find an accountability partner that's going to ask you if you, you know, did your healthy habits that summer. Book Zoom calls with them. Like do stuff with them in person together that also helps you grow. Like work out with your friends outside this summer. If you feel like you don't have like minded friends in your life, step number seven is for you. And that is to make an internet friend, guys. Open your mind to internet friends because the most like-minded people I have in my life, I've actually never met in person. Or I've met in person before, but we live like halfway across the world from each other. The best place to find like-minded people is honestly the Discord community that I have. You guys can click the link in the description to join, but the Discord community is full of high performers, of high school girls that are driven to improve. Literally just go find a friend on Discord and like get into a Zoom call with them. Make sure that you're being safe with it, but it's literally gonna change your life. So join the Discord community in my description. Also, you may be in a rut at the moment watching this video and all this information and steps might be a little bit overwhelming, which is why I created the video, how to get your life together in five days or less. So I'll see you guys there on that video. It's, it's literally gonna change your life.